guys, how you doing? So I haven't done a video in a while and I decided I wanted to compare the new iPhones because I'm trying to figure out what I want to get. So I did a little bit of labor and I'm going to express to you my feelings about some of this stuff. So I currently have the iPhone 4S and the screen is like 4.5 inches or long and then this is, um, not the screen, but the length, and then this is about two and a half inches. By this day and age, it's small. So the iPhone 6 is 4.7. So you can see the screens. I've got my game that I love, Legos Town Master. Okay. So we did, I cut it all out. I got all the specs and did it with the, it's probably, well, it's gonna be thicker than this, but this is cardboard. Here is the iPhone 6 Plus, okay? So quite a big difference. So I was kind of like, oh, how's it, you know, oh, this is nice, hey, how's it going? Kind of getting the idea of how big it would be, putting it in my purse. Like, then I did some more research. iPhone 6 Plus, this is the I, uh, iPad mini, right? So does this make this the iPad mini mini or the iPhone 6 Plus? That's my question there. I mean, obviously this would be really obnoxious. Like, hey man, what's up? Yeah, I got the bitch in his phone. It's like huge. I can play games, I can do everything. Yeah, just kidding. Anyways, so that's, right? Okay, so then I got thinking about, let's look at the iPhone 6 Plus compared to my iPad. So here's my iPad, right? So here's the iPad. Sorry about all the glare. iPad mini and iPad iPhone 6 Plus and iPad. Now, I personally like to play my games on my iPad because of this. It's big and it's, that's I think what tablets are for, right? To kind of do this stuff and, and have a lot of size. And they're different, definitely too big for this. What up, girlfriend? Yeah. But then I got thinking, what about my Nintendo DS? Hmm. Well, the top screen is like, 5.1 so it's a little smaller than the plus and then the bottom screen is about 4.5 so it's a little smaller than that but what if a phone company came up with the thickness of the new iphone and it was a clam like the old kind right how cool would this be obviously hello what's up is kind of right obnoxious however if it was the size of the iPhone Plus, look at that, it almost is. It's almost right, it's just a little bit bigger because of whatever, but technology, we can squish it down. What if you could talk to the person like this, but you could open it up, have two screens, and one with all your, your, your keyboard, as well as maybe game controls. <gasps> Apple, I'm challenging you, brilliant idea. So, I mean, I know that there's the Android Galaxy Flip, but it flips up like a tablet thing, like you know, like when you're writing on note paper, and it still has the ugly keyboard on the bottom. So the next iPhone needs to be a clamshell, right? Super thin, double screens, gaming, keyboard, and what's up, bitches? Okay, so those are my thoughts. I think I'm gonna go right now with the iPhone 6 Plus, just because, I don't know, this doesn't seem a big enough difference to me. What do you guys think? Is it going to be a big enough? Will I notice a difference like this? I never got the iPhone 5. So you all let me know. Apple, you're welcome for the great idea for your next iteration.